Now to a story that will truly mesmerize you. Charlotte artist Jill Seal created award-winning product designs featured in major retailers. Her clients include the White House, Kennedy Center, and National Geographic. Her work has even been commissioned for Sir Paul McCartney. So, you can imagine that it took nothing less than profound inspiration to walk away from that career and begin another at the age of almost 60. Seal found her creative calling on a trip to Florence, Italy in an ancient technique known as marbling. Now she's wowing the world with her modern vision of a lost art. Producer Russ Hunsinger captured the creative process. Let's marble. It's a nice medium that offers a variety, a constant variety. And it's just joyful for me to create. It's not a thinking thing, it's just a feeling thing. And it's so mesmerizing. I, I just, it's all I ever want to do. It's a little like, for me, like watching the ocean or watching a fire where it's the same thing, but it's different every time. It starts with a bath of thickened water then you mix paints that you float on the water. I'm gonna drop it randomly. You drop it or you knock it with a brush and the paints don't mix. I think that's it. It's all on the surface tension and they just push the other paints out. Once you have the paints on that you want, you use a stylus and combs and create different patterns. There's a sequence that I do the movements in with different combs, and that'll create a predictable pattern. Once you've got your pattern, you take a piece of paper and you gently lay it down, kind of roll it onto the surface. Ready. And then you peel it up and the paint has jumped onto the paper. It's really fascinating. I might use an actual piece of marbled paper and decoupage it on a tray. I'm using an actual sheet of marbled paper and then glue the paper onto the glass or jewelry. These are cuffs, it's kind of decoupage on the outside or I digitize it and then create fabrics with it. I'm doing some wearables like scarves and pants and gowns that will be on the runway in Paris and Kuwait. I love seeing where somebody else takes the design. I like when somebody I'm collaborating with has a vision for it. These are gift wrap and some dinnerware. I've kind of moved into textile design with marbling. This is an example of how a furniture manufacturer would use my fabrics. I work with textile manufacturers in North Carolina who can print textiles for me. Then I use local sewers who make the products for me. I buy my fills for my pillows in North Carolina. It's all bench made in North Carolina. I've shaken the hand that's made my products. I feel happy that a lot of North Carolina people are employed, and that's important to me. While this is happening, I'm kind of watching what's interesting in the tray. I like to take this time-honored craft and bring my own creative dialogue to it. And the experimenting is thrilling too. Here, let's do that. I mean, to create something from nothing is almost holy. I think that's why we're here. For me, my art, I just want people to enjoy it and feel good, whether it's products that I've designed or something beautiful. It's about happiness. Thanks so much, Russ. Seal's love of marbling began as a child with her mother's marbled china dishes. Now she says reinventing herself at this stage of her life has given her a sense that she's not at the end of the road, but at the beginning of a brand new adventure. She calls it both inconvenient and soul-saving.